What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel again. Alex Schumacher here, uploading Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Anyways, today is a full day eating video. I used to do these a lot on my channel, give you guys a little bit of an insight to what I eat on my diet to reach my fitness goals. Um, which usually is either like maintaining or cutting or trying to get leaner. So I had to shower, got ready and everything. So I'm going to go have my breakfast, which is my first meal of the day. And it's currently, I believe, I think 11 a.m. So a little bit later of a meal. Uh, I tend to not really get that hungry in the morning, especially when I'm on a diet where I'm trying to get leaner and cut down. I try to save my foods for later in the day. I'm one who tends to eat a lot more food at nighttime. I start to kind of binge eat. So if I can save all my calories for later in the day when I feel like I'm actually hungry, that's the best for me. But I do kind of want to eat a little bit earlier in the morning as well because I kind of want to go get my workouts done early. I don't recommend going to a workout unless you have like a good amount of like carbs and stuff within you. I'm not a big breakfast person. Conveniency is pretty big for me. So usually I have either Abby make me something, which would be like poached eggs um, or hard boiled eggs or something like that. I technically did a mini bulk. I got up to, I think, I think it was 178, 179 morning weight at my heaviest. So I want to get back down to 170. And so this is my plan right now. I want to get down to 170, 169 morning weight shredded. I want to go get super, super tan, get a bunch of content, maybe even compete, maybe even compete before this. And then like, or not refeed, but like rebound. I kind of want to start increasing the calories slowly over time into a very, very small lean bulk. I know a lot of you guys keep telling me, you guys want to see me get a little bit bigger. And I want to provide that for you guys. Just the content does so much better when you're shredded. So I kind of want to do one more full send of content while being very, very diced and very aesthetic. Maybe even do a show. I don't even know if I'm going to document. I might just do one out the cut without letting you guys know, just do like a show day. Um, so maybe we'll do that. I don't know yet. I got to get a coach still for that if I'm going to go about it that route. Real quick diet tip on these like LaCroix. I'm really big on sparkling water as well as Diet Coke. I'm not going to lie. These help me a lot. For me, when I'm cutting, the biggest issue I have is just trying to stay satiated. So a lot of these like carbonated drinks almost can act as like a filler. Like it kind of fills my stomach up and makes it feel a little bit fuller than just regular water would. All right, so the food's out the microwave. So the way I go about tracking my food. So let me show you guys real quick. I use the MyFitnessPal app. It's a free app. There is a paid version, but I use the free version. And basically I'm gonna go in here and it gives me, so if you, if you have an idea, if you're trying to like lose weight and you wanna get an idea how many calories you should be losing, I put mine that I wanna lose like a pound and a half um, per week. It's more of an aggressive cut for me, which has me eating around 2,100 calories per day. Uh, which is pretty damn low. I'm only doing this because I had like a big cheat meal the other day. Here for breakfast, I'll go into breakfast and it basically tells me the macro is right on here. So instead of doing is a look up like carb macro in the search bar, but 57 carbs there because that's how many carbs are in it. I'll do the same thing for proteins and fats. I'll, as I add other meals to it, it's gonna tally it up. And it also tells me my remaining calories. Now, what I see a lot of people do, which I personally don't recommend doing, is they'll add their exercise to this and be like, oh, because my Apple Watch tracked me in my workout, I can eat more calories now. So I do not recommend doing that at all because especially when you have like a watch plugged into it, I don't think, I think they overshoot the amount of calories that you're actually burning. And I don't like to compensate like, oh, if I burn, if it says I burn 300 uh, calories in my in my regular muscle workout, then I'm allowed to eat 300 calories more. Like that's, that's not a good way to go. You just leave the exercise at zero. And for, for me, I try to do a 300 to 400 calorie eating deficit. And then I try to add in around 200 calories worth of cardio burn per day in terms of like low intensity, steady state cardio. Um, so I didn't want to waste the other 60 calories on this, uh, the Starbucks drink with the creamer. So I'm just gonna have a Celsius. Um, they're pretty cool. This is the uh, strawberry lemonade flavor. Now I had this one, it was like green tea and peach the other day. That one was banging. That and the Arctic vibe, probably my favorite. Oh shit, it's hot. It's pretty damn hot. Let me know if you guys like these full day eating videos. I used to do them all the time on my channel. In terms of like the results that you want for your physique, the nutritional part, like the shit that you eat in the kitchen is like so much more important. Like you will not be able to gain muscle unless you're like in a surplus. You're not gonna be able to lose fat unless you're in a deficit. So that all comes from the food that you eat. If I wanna get shredded, I have to track my macros. It's literally the only way I can lose fat because Let's say if I try to like consciously just be like, I, I've seen a lot of people do this too. They're like, oh, I want to get shredded. I want to lose fat. And all they do is just stop eating food. They'll eat like one meal a day or they'll just cut out all carbs. They'll do the shit that they hear on the internet. And next thing you know, you're crashing your metabolism because you're giving your body only 1500 calories when it needs to be running on 3000. And next thing you know, you're crashing your metabolism and you have to eat a thousand calories to lose even half a pound a week. You do not want to be in that, in that point at all. So it's good to kind of slowly you know, monitor how much you're eating, see how your body responds, and then give it what it kind of needs. Not super OD, I'm like, oh, I have to hit each and every single macro every day, other than trying to hit my protein intake. That's the only one I'm like pretty like big on. I'll be honest with you guys, <clears throat> this thing absolutely slaps. It's a little smaller than I would want, but this shit absolutely is, is smacking. So there's this company called Cold Plunge and they hooked us up with this ice tub. It's like an ice bath thing that like self-refrigerates. I'm at like 38 degrees. So I'm gonna go try it out for the first time and show you guys my reaction. A bit probably cold. 
Oh, we gotta turn it up. I ain't ready for all this yet. Yeah, I'm you can ready. just do it. I'm not ready just for all it. this yet. Just do it. Do it. Just sit in it. Oh, 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 that's cold. <laughs> nah. So this is the fit on Rocky. Shout out my man for the shoes. I forgot his at, but he basically hooked me up with these all black Yeezys and foam runners. Rocking the Chanel patch sweatshirt for a pump cover. And then I have my my merch's stringer underneath. So yeah, Hilo Mix, code Alex, show some love. I have some intro workout in here, which is basically a mix of uh, essential amino acids. Um, there's a little bit of caffeine in this one, and then also there is like high fast digesting carbohydrates. I think if you're natural, like especially when you're dieting, you tend to get flat pretty quick. I notice when I'm pretty lean and I'm like going into the gym hard, all my carbs kind of are done after the workout. When I try to go pose or afterwards, I feel very, very flat and just not full. And like I can tell my pumps and contractions aren't as good when I'm in a cut, especially naturally, because you don't have like all that blood flow and all the uh, extra shit that like enhanced gear would. And your workout has been making the biggest difference. So like you drink this basically so on it during your workout um once you start your like your heavier sets and you just sip on it throughout your whole workout it helps keep you fuller it's shuttling carbs and protein and amino acids in your muscle cells because of the insulin uh, response that you have due to the due to the fast digesting carbs and because your blood flow is pumping to your muscles when you're lifting all that's gonna be shuttled right in your muscle cells so that's why it's so good to take it during your workout i didn't have much caffeine today so this is what we're rocking this is the old formula the new one has sxt in it it's a triple type of caffeine formula so you don't crash this was before that so it's just regular caffeine and hydrous and a slower digesting thigh caffeine malate. Um, so yeah, I'm doing just one scoop. So it's not that much caffeine, I think it's 200 milligrams, so yeah. So we're at the gym now. I'm starting out with some pre-exhaustion stuff. So I'm purely just doing cable flies, these seated cable flies, um, just to get a big pump in my chest. Three sets deep right now, doing around 12, 15 reps. On the last few sets, I'm, I'm kind of keeping the tension on my chest on the stretch, and that shit feels insane. So I'm getting a crazy pump. Hold it on the stretch for like five seconds, great. And then we're gonna go into a really heavy mass movement. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do yet for that. Probably a plate loader press. Um, I'm gonna go easy on my nervous system, so I don't wanna do anything crazy with like free weights. So we're just gonna probably do like controlled stuff. Um, but yeah. super conservative and like it just always like pressing you to be like a perfect human and all that shit bro. yeah 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 it's so yeah. much pressure yeah i don't so i don't pressure. i don't like that well yeah that's what i'm saying like people, the whole point of being human is to accept your flaws and all that you know and trying to just like work through them but all everyone else tries to do is just try to target you for them you know so trust me i know as a social media bro i get yeah, i get you, slandered especially. dude people just like love to point out anything that they think i'm doing is wrong and like try to invalidate me for it yeah.
I start my delt training with like rear delt. My hang over it. First way I start is I turn my pinkies up and I go like almost like a Y raise. You ever heard of that? Yeah. It's like. <sighs> um, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go. Go a little bit more towards me. Like really point the pickies up. There you go. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? All right, so we're back home from the gym. At the gym, I, I forgot what the exact amount of carbs it is. I had a scoop and a half of intra workout. So however many carbs and calories it is, I'll pop it up right here because I don't know. I'm gonna count that as my calories, even though it's like a powder. Um, now I'm gonna have a post workout. So Exile has these meals that you can take right from the gym. Um, they're pretty good. Uh, it's from a restaurant nearby. So I just got the chicken, brown rice, and asparagus. So I'm guessing this is, I think it's a seven ounce ser serving of chicken. Eight ounces of brown rice, I think, or seven ounces of rice, and then a little bit of asparagus. So however that much is, how much it is, I'm gonna kind of estimate it. I'll pop it up on the screen right here. That's gonna be my post workout, and then I don't know how many calories I have left for the day. It's supposed to be lower calories for today because yesterday I had the big cheat meal, the cheat day, so I have to kind of lower them for today, the day after. Um, but yeah, we'll see what else to eat throughout the day. Well, it seems like we're out of food, and the only snack that we can get is nugget. How much protein are you? How much protein are you, huh? <laughs> You don't know? How much protein is in you? Currently, we're doing a subathon right now on Twitch. I think we're about two hours into the stream. Half the proceeds are going to my church. We're going pretty good, pretty hard so far. If you guys want to pull to my Twitch, I stream literally almost every single night, um, unless I take a break maybe once or twice a week. Around 8 or 9 p.m. EST, pull up to the streams. We're doing a subathon right now, so it's going pretty long tonight. So I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to go up a meal. Abby's playing. She's taking she's taking uh, Fall Guys over while I'm going to go eat. We're going to go with something from Flex Pro Meals. Flex Pro Meals is my meal prep sponsor. Again, if you want to support me on there, I'll have them linked down below in the description. Code Alex also should. I think it gives you a discount. Um, this is probably my go-to. It's the Holly Holly Chicken. You can also get a la carte food. So you can get like chicken by the pound, beef by the pound, or like fish by the pound, which I probably recommend if you're really trying to cut. But if you want something with more flavor that's already kind of made for you, if you're like really, you know, either lazy, you just don't have the time and want to make it convenient, get like the ones that are already made like this. This is the Holly Holly Chicken. So it's got like sauce, rice, chicken, 380 calories, 43 grams of protein, 28 carbs, and 12 grams of fat. And if that holy holy chicken doesn't fill me up enough, I might eat a little bit more, probably. All right, last meal before bed. This is what Abby just made me. Protein pancakes, protein French toast, and protein waffles. All chocolate with some worn sugar-free low-calorie syrup. I do not know 
how much is in each of this i'll probably ask her but um she probably measured it so i'll pop up on the screen with the macros are for this and Pretty sure she used the kodiak cakes like the chocolate chip mix for this but pancakes french toast and waffles i'm happy she made me all three so i love her for that um so this is my last meal pop up the macros again for whatever it is and then if you guys want to learn how to make them it should be shouldn't be that hard it's mainly just like the batter and everything um i'm gonna go enjoy this and um yeah I forgot to do an outro like I usually do, but I just tallied up the calories. I think we had around 2,300 calories um, for this full day eating, which is pretty good. I'm happy with that. I wish it was a little bit lower just because it was a day after a cheat meal, but that's honestly what I'm trying to aim for throughout the week around 23, 2,400 calories max with around 25 minutes of cardio every single day. And that's what I'm trying to do right now on my cut and on my diet. I think I just talked to Jesse James West a little earlier today. We're talking about making a video here in, in the next few days um so i'm i gotta get shredded so we can get some good content so i think i'm gonna try also for a youtube video maybe friday's a video eating no carbs for like two days straight i've never done that before in my entire life so i'm curious to see how my body would react to it um so i might make a video on that alone so stay tuned for the next video on that but that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like comment subscribe turn the bell notification on bro we're so close to 400k if we can hit 400k on youtube by sunday i said on my instagram i'm gonna pick five random people to win elysium stuff uh, for the new drop that's coming up. I really went at 400k. Half of you guys who watch me are not even subscribed to me, so it means a lot if you just simply just press the sub. It just helps, as well as liking the video so that other people can see it. It really goes a long way. This algorithm is really hard. It's the hardest algorithm I'd say out of all. Um, so make sure you guys watch this video the whole way through. If you guys want to support me on any of my sponsors, again, code Alex on Raw Gear. There's two drops this month. I'll show the try on haul at the end of this video. If you guys want to go check it out, August 15th, code Alex. Uh, my drop for my clothing brand is coming up. I'd say that's probably around August 20th. Um, I'm thinking is what we're aiming at right now. Alex on Alpha Line for supplements, Celsius, code Alex with Flex Pro if you guys want to get some meal prep delivered to your door. Um, that's pretty much it. Workout plans, apps, all my links, everything is down below in the description. You're going to go check it out, any of them. All right, love you guys. Until next time, see you guys Friday. Peace. I don't feel like a transporter, it's a privilege to know me, that's a hundred on my broski One, two, punch, damn this thing hitting fully Fresh pot of gumbo and we back up on our bully Beat by Dama, shout out to the boy Cushy Now I'm everything I could be, shades on with a hoodie Think I Off a little something so you think I got my eyes closed These is one and none, no baby, these is not those Getting so much chicken, black cats out of tacos Getting so much packs like we gotta scan a barcode Getting so much A, cause we working out of ISO Should've went indies, but you didn't, now you dry snow Baby, come to Brooklyn, yeah.